media violence, models of social learning, the general aggression model, and the catalyst model. Social learning theory is where young children imitate any behaviors that they see, including aggressive media acts. This was found by Bandura, 1977. Huseman, 1988, found that aggression in social learning arose from schemas about a hostile world, scripts for solving social problems that focus on aggression and normative beliefs that aggression is acceptable. As you can see, these three elements come together to perpetuate the idea of aggression being normal, acceptable, and used to solve social problems. The General Aggression Model, or GAM, was created by Bushman and Anderson in 2002. It involved a series of stages such as repeated violent media exposure, increases in aggressive beliefs and attitudes, the enhancement of aggressive perceptual schemata, aggressive desensitization and increases in aggressive personality attributes, as well as finally, aggressive behavior when an environmental trigger is available, whereby the individual is primed to react aggressively. Other researchers believe that other factors were to play, such as Elson and Ferguson in 2014, who believed that personality was important, as they found that viewers pre-existing levels of aggression drew them towards violent media, aka does violent media make people more violent or do violent people use more violent media? It's um, a chicken and egg scenario whereby we're not too sure on, on what is the cause. Evolutionary theory such as the catalyst model of aggression, which was proposed by Ferguson in 2010, suggested that violence came about from genetic and early social influences like family and peers. But this has little evidence. Violent acts are seen as catalyzed in stressful situations, and eventually less stress is needed to catalyze violence in someone. Ferguson believed that the general aggression model did not account for individual differences due to personality. Therefore, we looked at the different models such as the social learning theory, general aggression model and the catalyst model in how they explain the impact, how they explain the effects of media violence on aggression. And yeah, it will be important to critically evaluate each of these theories uh, since of course like anything they have strengths and limitations thanks for watching